Next tonight, our Global Health Unit begins a series of reports on the ways other countries are delivering health care. Ray Suarez has the first of two stories on the Netherlands, where the government recently shook up health care. Every September, Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands travels in a gilded coach from her palace to the Dutch parliament a few blocks away. The streets of the capital are packed with her subjects, dressed to honor the country's royal house of Orange. By world standards, the Dutch are wealthy and healthy, but the country's changing. With each year, it's home to more Dutch elderly and more young immigrants from the developing world. The Queen opened a parliament once again wrestling over health care, still trying to contain costs after a massive overhaul designed four years ago. Abraham Klink is the Dutch Minister of Health. Health care had to be accessible and affordable to everyone, but on the other hand, it had to be competition. Uh, what we did the last years is to make, uh, to create an infrastructure in which the uh, insurance companies can make a difference and make a difference in, on the side of quality and side of prices. What the Netherlands did is require everyone to buy health insurance and hand over what was a system of public-private health care coverage to private insurance companies. When the Netherlands redesigned its national health care system in 2006, there were three main goals. Continue universal coverage, unleash competition between private insurers, and keep down costs for the long run. Every citizen is required to buy a basic package that typically costs about $160 a month. The insurance companies are required to offer the same prices to all customers, regardless of age or medical history. Low-income residents have their premiums subsidized. Healthcare shoppers can choose to pay more for coverage for things like dentistry, cosmetic surgery, or physiotherapy. You always can choose for, um, for a basic healthcare and uh, one star, two stars, three stars, four stars. If you, if you, choose, if you, if you choose for four stars, everything is uh, covered. Everything's covered. Mm -hmm. The government challenged the insurance business. The thinking goes, since they can no longer compete on price, the companies will have to fight to keep customers based on the quality of care. Roger van Boxtel is CEO for Menzies, one of the Netherlands' biggest insurers. There can be no discrimination if you're ill or old or young. We have to accept everybody. And I think that is one of the big differences with the United States. Um, we have a level playing field uh, and we have to compete. We have to uh, do our best to have good prevention programs, to innovate and to buy health care. With the, uh, with the providers, the GPs, the hospitals, the physiotherapists. We make contracts with them every year and we're seeking for highest quality and the most efficient price. In fact, Menzies now offers a ranking on top hospitals and doctors for its customers, which is exactly what the government was hoping for. I see so many people who want to know that if you have to go to the hospitals, for example, for uh, for uh, heart diseases or um, heart failure, they want to know what the quality is. And only those people which are in the inner crowd of the hospitals or uh, the policy making, they know what the quality differences are. And what I want them to know, uh, all the people I, I mean, uh, is what hospital is the best and which general practitioner is the best. Since expensive to treat patients can't be turned away by insurance companies, what if one company ends up with way more diabetics, cancer patients, Alzheimer's sufferers? The government runs what's called a risk equalization fund, which reimburses insurance companies for each high-risk patient it takes on. Anne-Marie Bigby is one such patient. In May, Bigby was diagnosed with breast cancer. She had recently switched her insurance to the cheapest basic coverage package. Still, she says, her treatments have been fully paid for and began as soon as she discovered a problem. A total span of when I uh, discovered the lump, went to my GP on the Monday, I was in here on the Thursday, and within, I think, seven to ten days from that, I was receiving my first chemo. So far, Big B is pleased with her coverage. 
But if for some reason she decides to switch companies, no insurance companies could turn her down or charge her extra for her illness. You say, can I have another one? Yeah, well done. You Coverage for expensive therapies wow. is so attractive, it's lured some to take up residence in the Netherlands. Five-year-old Tilo van Driel's parents moved from the United States. Tilo has autism. Okay, here we go. There come the bubbles. Like most with the disorder, Tilo has trouble communicating with others. His ongoing, lifelong therapies are extremely expensive. Here at the Autism Center in The Hague, Tilo is taught to better react to his environment. It's best to have a very intensive program for these, these children. Uh, most of the time they get like uh, an hour or two hours in a week tra treatment at the center. But we also focus on um, teaching parents how they can practice skills with their children so they can do that in daily life. It's time to go to the table, okay? Tilo's parents, Barry and Fiona, moved to the Netherlands so they could afford Tilo's care. Barry is Dutch, Fiona is American. The couple was living in the United States when they began to suspect Tilo was autistic. We didn't feel we had a choice. Yeah. We felt we had our backs against the wall financially. We felt that we did have some money in savings, but not very much. And we felt that we were one treatment away from uh, being uh, bankrupt there. We were extremely worried about money and, and our finances in the United States, and it created a lot of stress. I, I don't have that concern anymore. There are other concerns, uh, but, but not that. Yeah. I'm making a bonus. What are you going to do with this? Because they have dual citizenship, the family qualified for coverage. Not only are Tilo's intensive therapies covered, the family also gets support at home and cash for babysitters. We basically have this personal budget which would cover um, up to eight hours a week of somebody coming into the house and, uh, and helping us out uh, with day-to-day -day things, getting them dressed, getting them, you know, on the potty. Um, helping, helping watch him while we, we take care of business and so on. And, uh, and then we can go out, and we can go out for overnights, and, 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 uh, and that's all covered by the government, essentially. How many operating theaters do you have? Seven. Seven. The architect of Netherlands' new health care system, former health minister Dr. Elsa Borst, says she's pleased with the way the new system has unfolded, but she has some concerns. She's now head of the Dutch Cancer Patient Federation. Borst worries about whether Dutch patients are quickly getting the latest cancer drugs. New treatments have to be approved by the government, not only as good medicine, but as cost-effective treatment. It's just that there is such a lot of bu bureaucracy always because uh, drugs only uh, are reimbursed in our new healthcare insurance system when they have been proved to be effective and also cost-effective. And, uh, well, there are some people looking at that and they take their time. And from the patient's point of view, you're always in a hurry. If there is a new treatment for breast cancer, you want it tomorrow for all breast cancer patients in this country and not within half a year. Even with universal coverage, the Netherlands spends less than half what the United States spends per person on health care. While spending half the money, the Netherlands gets better results. The Dutch have longer life expectancy and lower infant mortality. The average Dutch citizen spends about 7% of income on health care, and they seem satisfied with the system. The annual Euro Health Consumer Index puts the Netherlands in first place in a survey of patient satisfaction across Europe. Ray's next report looks at efforts to contain health care costs in the Netherlands. There's also a comparison of health care systems in five countries, the Netherlands, but also Japan, Canada, Mexico, and the United States on our website, newshour.pbs.org.